Hey guys, Brian here, and so today we are talking about Steam and how to move your games from one drive to another. So say you have an SSD and you ran out of capacity and you went out and bought a two terabyte hard drive, how do you move the games from the SSD to the hard drive without having to reinstall all of the games? That's what we're covering here today. So I'm gonna show you how to make a new library. I'm gonna show you how to change your default library in Steam. And then I'm gonna show you also how to bulk move, the easiest way to bulk move, and then also how to, um, the easiest way to move like one or two games at a time. All right, so what you want to do is you wanna open Steam, you wanna go into the library tab for Steam. And you can see right now we chose Stardew Valley and Terraria for this tutorial. They're smaller games, so it'll be easier to transfer them um, back and forth between our drives and it'll be easier to show you what you need to do so go ahead and go to your library and into this if you go into steam hit settings you go to your downloads tab and hit steam library folders this is where you will add or remove new libraries um, to your you know to your steam account so you can't remove the c drive one but you can add like if i wanted to add one on my e drive i could add one on my e drive I could add one on my D drive. I could add it wherever I want. So if I wanted to add one on, on my E drive, all I would need to do is go ahead and I'm gonna make it keep it organized, but I'm gonna hit new folder and type, make it named, name it Steam. Then I'm gonna go back into Steam. Um, boop, go back into the E drive. And I, you can see Steam is here now, click select. And all of a sudden, bam, Steam has been added as a new folder or my Steam folder on my E drive has been added as a new folder folder that I can download games onto now. So it's that easy. If I want to make this a default, all I do is right click, hit make folder default, and we're good to go. Now, I'm going to remove this temporarily because I want to show you how to bulk transfer your games. If you have 10, 20, 500 games, whatever it might be, this is the easiest way to bulk transfer your games. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and close all of this. You're going to want to open a file explorer. You're going to want to travel to your C drive, your local disk, Go to program files x86. Um, go to Steam. Now, if you have your, if you already have your games on a different drive, you, you'd have to travel to wherever your games are right then. So if you have them on a secondary drive already, you want to travel to that folder. And you're gonna want to find Steam Apps folder. This is the folder that holds all of your games. If you go into Common, you can see that we have Stardew Valley, Terraria, and so forth. You want to go through and you want to copy the Steam Apps folder. You want to go to whatever drive you want to take it to. So I want to take it to my games, my E drive. I want it to be in Steam. We're going to go ahead and hit paste. We're going to sit here. We're going to wait until it transfers all the data over. And then once that's done, I'm going to be back to show you guys what to do next. All right, so we just transferred that Steam apps folder over to our um, games E drive. And now what we want to do is uninstall all the games, okay? If you don't do that, this is what's going to happen. If you go into settings, you, you add the folder without uninstalling them. This is what will happen. Hit select. You can see it says installed zero. So it's actually not gonna transfer or show that you have installed it on that drive. So instead what we wanna do is go ahead and remove that. We wanna go back over here. We wanna uninstall all the games. Just hit uninstall. It'll take a moment. It should take just seconds to uninstall it. Boom, okay. Now go back to Steam, settings, uh, downloads, library folder. And when you hit add folder and you hit E drive, Hit Steam, hit Select, you can see right here, boom, just like that. It shows that two games are installed. Any game that you have in this folder now, it doesn't matter if there's two, four, five, 10, 40, it's gonna show them all. It might not show them right away. It might need to update them or there might be lost files or something like that. So just give it a second, but it will transfer all of your games. That's the easiest way to bulk transfer your games, okay? The easiest way, period. The, you know, the second way, which you could use to move all of your games, it takes a lot longer. Uh, but this is the easiest way to bulk transfer or if you reformat your PC or something um, You can just go ahead and add the, the old library that you had from it and it'll automatically find them again so the second way to move your games is going to be To go into your library in your games again You're gonna right-click hit properties go to a local files and then hit move install folder when you do this It's gonna show you all the library folders that you have that your game is not currently in and all you gotta do is select whichever one. So if you have multiple folders or multiple libraries, it'll show you all of them. And then you just hit move folder. It'll take a minute because it does have to transfer all that data again over to that new drive. And then it'll verify all the files and then you'll be good to go. Now, depending on how large these games are, it might take a while at this point. So you'll have to sit here, wait till it transfers all the way through. And then you can go and then it'll verify all the files and then you can go do the next one. That's why moving all of them at once is a lot easier and a lot quicker because you can just start moving the files over. You can go do something else. When you come back, you can finish 
finish it instead of sitting here waiting for one to finish and then do the next one and do the next one and so forth. And like I said before, my goal is to do tutorials like this every single Tuesday here on out. So if you have any questions, anything you want to be, anything PC related that you need answered, that could be a quick tutorial like this, let me know in the comments below and I'll add it to my list of tutorials that I plan on doing. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please like this video and consider subscribing for more tech content just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.